is there? Oh, Michael. Let me guess. You're uh, running for office and you need a just folks photo. Uh, Frank, what are you doing? I live here, remember? No, I mean with the wrench. It's frozen. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Try this thing. Here, what? Give me it. Huh. See? Zap. Zap. Wait. All right, turn. Voila. Must have been the voila part. Hey, Brett, wait, wait, wait. Um, listen, I, uh... Can I ask you a question? Do you think people can change? Depends on what people you're talking about. Well, me, people like me. Well, let's see, Alan Michael, you're uh, spalding, you're rich, you're confident, you're very set in your ways, uh, mm. very goal-oriented. Um, you know, you're, you're like a swimmer who shaves all the body hair off his body before a race so that one hair doesn't slow him down. Okay, I'm glad I asked such a serious question. Now, Lucy said that uh, I was a typical spalding. Hey, what's not typical, right? Look, Alan Michael, um... Do you remember when Eleni went to Kriti and I was so desperate to get to her and I, I tried to sell my van to raise the money to get the fare? Yeah, maybe. Why? Well, it just so happens I got a job that night, right after you left the diner. Enough money to cover the entire trip and I was to start the day that I got back. And the guy that did this... Oh, that's a lucky Tell Mike, let me finish. Right. The guy that did that, who set that trip up, happens to be you. And if it wasn't? And if it was, if you were the person who set that up, then I'd have to say thank you. Well, if it was, then uh, I would have to say something like, I owe you after all the grief I gave you. But we're speaking purely up there. Yeah, well, yeah, of course, because there, there are a lot of ifs here, and um, there is one very big if. See, if, if you were that person, set it all up for me to go to Kriti. Then I'd have to say you proved your theory. People can change. Oh. You're a lot smarter than you look. I gotta go get changed. Let's see. Good, here to pick up Lucy. Is she ready? Uh, I don't think so. Let's go upstairs and get her. Ready, and I'm just finishing up my costume, and you, Miss Scarlett, have a gentleman caller. Brent, he's downstairs. He sent you these. I don't want... Sorry. <laughs> I, um... I'm not mad at you or anything. I don't know why I just it, went so It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Do you not want to go to the ball or something? No, I'm not going. Okay. Do you want me to talk to Brent for you? What do you want me to say? Yeah, tell him I'm uh, sick or I moved or I died. Okay, Lucy, I have no idea what's going on here, but um, maybe you should go downstairs and talk to him yourself. He's waiting for no, you. No, I don't want to see him again. Anything he's ever touched. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. That's disappointing. Huh. Well, the ball's a big deal. I wanted to share it with her. Okay. Um, tell her I hope she feels better. Okay. Good night. Weird, huh? Yeah, it's very weird. What's going on with Lucy? 
Lucy? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. What do you mean? What do you... Look, if, if Kurt comes by, will you just tell him I'll meet him there? Yeah, where are you going? Perform open-heart surgery. Oh, I'm sure I forgot something, but it's too late now. Oh, Buzz, everything looks so great. You've done such a good job. I'm so proud. The whole family. What is this with this pride stuff? Pride and family? Lucy uh, doesn't pride. think I'm proud of her. What would that... Why would that be an issue? No, pride is behind everything. Even tonight's theme is pride in Fifth Street. She's come from nothing to where she is now. Why would you think I'm not proud of her? I'm sure she knows you are. But uh, I'm surprised she's not here yet. Did she seem okay when you visited her? Said she was. She isn't. Know. Maybe we should give her space. It's probably nothing, huh? It's that Spalding kid. It's his fault. Maybe Brent will do better. Mm. Relax, he's gone. Um, why don't you just keep going and I, I'll just, I'll, I'll clean up around here. No, we need to talk. Tell me what happened, Lucy. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Okay, well, why don't you start with, it happened the night I went to Brent's apartment. Look, why doesn't everybody just lay off of me? Well, I'm not everybody. I'm the closest friend you have right now, and you have to talk about this, what happened. Look, I don't want to talk about it. No. I'm not going to lay off. Lucy, come on. Something happened the night that you went over to Brent's apartment. You've been upset ever since then. I thought you were upset because you didn't lose your virginity. What happened? Did I get it wrong? Did you sleep with him? For it, isn't it? I can't believe I'm here at this place, much less in this ghetto. Why? Oh, uh, I'm just not in the mood. I'm just hoping maybe I'd run into Lucy. You haven't seen her, have you? Oh, uh, no, I've not seen her yet. But uh, don't you think she might be coming with Brent? Yes, but I thought maybe I'd get a chance to talk to her. Mm, maybe you should just put her out of your mind for tonight and try to have a good time. Hey, okay, I'll try, I'll try. No, but she won't, will no, you? I won't. <laughs> date and you know that at least um that was the way i imagined it to be so so we we went to the shooting arcade and um we had a pretty good time i mean we were laughing and and everything seemed to be going going okay mm -hmm. and i got a little less nervous and and so when he asked me to go back to his apartment i said i said yes mm -hmm. and um at first, I didn't, I didn't really want anything to drink, but he made me something anyway. It's okay. I got it. I got it. It's okay. And, um, he said it was mostly fruit juice, but I'm not really sure what was in it. Mm -hmm. And, um, then we just made up. Keep going. Tell me what happened. Well, then it got, you know, pretty heavy the way I expected it to get and the way I, I wanted it to get. But? Well, remember when I, I said that I didn't want to be a virgin for the rest of my life and how I was ready to lose it even if I wasn't going to marry the guy? Mm -hmm. Well, while I was making out with him, I decided that wasn't really the way I felt. And that I did want it to be perfect. And I did want to be in love. Did you say something to him? Well, let's just say it didn't happen exactly the way I imagined it to be. You mean you went ahead and went all the way anyway? wasn't quite as 
gentle as I, I expected him to be. I mean, I actually sort of felt like I was... like I was there by myself sometimes, and that he was... he was there in his own little world. Is that... is that the way it's supposed to be? No. It's not how it's supposed to be. Honey, you're supposed to enjoy it. Lucy, are you telling me that he forced you? No. No. No, um, no, it was nothing like that. I mean, uh, how could it be? I've been giving him signals for days. Oh, I don't care what kind of signals you've been giving him. That doesn't matter. If you don't want it to be that way, then he should listen to you, you know, and... Look, I think that you just had this whole thing completely wrong, and it really just, just didn't happen the way I expected to, and that's, that's all. Besides, I, oh, I always heard that you can't get a guy going too far because then he can't stop. Oh, no, 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 no. I used to think that, too. That is absolutely not true. A guy can stop any time that you want him to. And if you say that you want him to stop, he has to stop. Did you say no? No. You know what? I think I've said far too much about my personal life already, so can we just drop this? I mean, I've known Brent for a very long time, and he is not a rapist. He's a junior exec. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he is. be my friend and you really want to make me feel better, you will just let it go. Okay? Why don't you just go and, and get yourself ready? I'm going to go upstairs and read. Well, they should have. My chariot awaits. Well, my motorcycle. Think you can handle it? Yeah, I think I can. In fact, I bet I've probably ridden more miles on a motorcycle than you even have. Oh, tell me. <laughs> She's uh, been a little moody lately. All right, you'll have to excuse me for this. Thanks. Okay? 
Lucy, open the door, please. I need to see you. I just don't think it's a very good idea. Lucy, you're upset, and I'm the reason, right? No, I just don't feel very well. The things that I said in the office? Forget it. No, I can't. I was out of... I overstepped my bounds. I'm sorry. Apologies accepted. Yeah, well, you don't have to let me off the hook so easily. I mean, I offended you. Never have had great timing. I mean, ask anybody. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. I broke our agreement. But the reason I did that was because I realized, and the reason was, because I was lying to myself when we made it. I was all caught up in myself and what I was feeling for you. As if all I had to do was declare myself to you and you would, oh, have this, I don't know fairy tale reaction, you'd throw open your arms and your heart to me and you would give me another chance. Which I guess I don't deserve, right? Oh, Michael... Lucy, you know, I... I treated you badly. I hurt you. Again, which was... not my intention for the very... it wasn't my intention at all. Just if you don't want to talk to me or see me... It's over! No, Lucy, what I want to be over is my lying to you and to myself. Now, I don't know how serious it has gotten between you and Brent, but... Lucy, what's wrong with you? Peter, 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 I'm crying. Peter's crying. I have to go and get baby Peter. Uh, I don't know. Yes. Excuse me. Can I talk to you? Hmm? I want to talk to you about Lucy. I'd be happy to bid more than $2,500. Hey, why are you avoiding me? Why are you hounding me, huh? It's a party, Bridget. Relax, enjoy, have a little bubbly. You didn't answer my question. I thought I just did. How'd your day feel with Lucy? Great. Great. Really? Where'd you guys go? Went to the arcade. Yeah, what'd you do? We won some toys and ate some hot dogs. Mm. Where'd you go after that? 
Well, it's not like I owe you an explanation, Bridget, but we went back to my place. Yeah, what'd you guys do there? I put on some music and we danced. Then what? Take a hike, okay? I don't need this interrogation. I don't think Lucy had a very good time. Peter cry himself back to sleep, but I, I just don't like doing that. I can't stand the thought of him just feeling helpless and needing somebody. It's like you're not even seeing me or hearing me. Am I that much of a stranger to you now? Lucy. Lucy, please talk to me. I can't read your mind. Tell me. What did I do? You're not even going to look at me. Lucy? Okay. I want you to forget everything that I just told you. How I felt about you. All the romantic stuff, I mean. Doesn't mean I don't feel it. But if it's upsetting you, then I'd rather not risk losing you completely. I won't muddy it up if that's what you want, but Lucy, you've got to tell me that that is what you want. Lucy, please, I can't, I can't stand to see you like this. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Exactly. You tell me. What? Are you jealous? I thought you had something going with Skunko. No, I'm not jealous. Lucy's my friend. Oh, right, right, yeah. Everybody's friend, Big Bad Bridget. Why the attitude, Bridget? Huh? What'd Lucy tell you about our date? Nothing, but if she had said something, what would she have said? I don't know. I don't know, but don't you think you're buttoning into something that's private? Huh? Between two consenting adults? Just tell me. What happened? Okay. Guys and girls usually tell this differently. Mm -hmm. Since you're so interested, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Great. Okay. We went back to my place. She threw back a few drinks. Mm -hmm. She got a little loose. We danced, we got close, it got real hot. What do you mean by that? I mean she slinked into my bed like a little kitten. Because then she turned into a tiger. She was a little nervous, but... I knew she hadn't been around much. It's okay. But I'm sure that she enjoyed herself. Really? You're sure of that? Absolutely. I talked to her the next day. I sent her flowers. In fact, I'm surprised she didn't come tonight. But she wasn't feeling well. Would you like some champagne? No? Well, I'm sorry I don't have anything else to tell you, Bridget. But if you need me, I'll be out here somewhere, okay? I was beginning to think you weren't coming back. What, miss all of this? 
Well, you were missed. Where have you been? They're just about to make the uh, special award presentation. I'm planning on winning something. Well, expecting my son to be by my side. Well, here I am. Why don't you come with me? I have some people I want you to meet. After all, uh, you do represent the family's business. Yeah, when I first got here, but you know, I disappeared for about an hour or so, and I haven't seen her since. I'll let you know if I do. Yes, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Hello, well, Michael. Hmm. Are you talking to Ross? Yeah, yeah, just now. What's going on with you two? Why aren't you here together? Did he, um, did he mention me? Did he say anything about me? No, actually, he was asking about Dinah. Dinah, that's all he ever thinks about. That's all he ever talks about. You know, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if he ever really loved me if I just... Oh, run Blake, come on. Don't do that to yourself. The man's crazy about you. Uh, I honestly don't know anymore. You know, if you excuse me, Helen you know, Michael, before I start crying, I'm not one of those women who looks good when she cries. I wish Lucy could be here. I know. Oh, she would be so proud of you, too. I know, I know. I'm just, uh... I hope she's going to be okay. I'm disappointed in you, son. That's news? I can't believe you didn't secure that award for yourself. That's the kind of promotion and goodwill you can't buy. Oh, but you would have paid plenty for it, am I right? But at least you could have worked the room. I mean, everyone in town was here tonight. You know more than I that more contacts are made in social situations than any office. Well, as someone once said, I'm the president of Spalding. So I'm in charge, right? I like to see you. Well, well, well. He snuck hey, back in the town and we weren't looking. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm sure you can talk about your best friend and you can talk about your favorite son, Philip. Excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, please, uh, your attention. I need some quiet. Can, can you stop the music, please? Patrick. Patrick, what's going on? I wish I didn't have to tell you. I thought there was an unusual amount of police activity here tonight. I'm very sorry to have to uh, cut the festivities short. Uh, I have some rather bad news. The proceeds from tonight's ball have been stolen. We can only assume the perpetrator is in the area, therefore we have sealed it off. We ask for your cooperation in finding the money. No one can leave until further notice. Thank you. anything i don't know anything i don't have anything in my pocket there is no look no one goes anything. in or out those are the orders that includes Please, you mr allen michael like he's okay excuse me excuse me vouch for him okay he's all right calm down okay you're gonna get yourself arrested right i'm gonna get myself arrested yeah just be really alan michael come with me this doesn't look good come on come on talk to you about Lucy. Why? Well, I'm worried about her. I went to see her earlier tonight. Oh, Michael, why did you do that? Uh, just leave her alone, all right? Bridget, if you know something about Lucy, I want you to tell me. It doesn't have anything to do with you, all right? She's just having a hard time right now, and um, she's going to be all right, but just leave her alone, No, okay? I'm trying to help her. I don't mean to interrupt here, but... Uh... Bridget, the cops are looking for you. 
<clears throat> Why? I don't know. I think they want to look for Skunk. Or Kirk, whatever his name is, they want to know where he was during the ball. All right. I'm going to talk to you about this later. Having a good time? Yeah. Something wrong between you and Bridget? Just a little touchy. What can I tell you? you seem to have that effect on you. for you. company and I came up the back. What's wrong? You're acting like I'm gonna bite you. Okay, I'm confused, Lucy. You seem upset. And Bridget seemed upset when I talked to her earlier. I'm beginning to think there's been some kind of misunderstanding. I mean, I thought we had a wonderful date the other night. But whatever you told Bridget, made her feel like it wasn't so wonderful. And I'm just surprised that she has the wrong impression like that. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, I understand that it was your first time. And I also understand that that kind of experience can be confusing. And sometimes it can be anticlimactic or even disappointing, especially for somebody like you who is such a romantic and who postponed it for so long. I understand, I guess it's okay. It's natural to be disappointed. I mean, you must have fantasized about this for months, years even. <laughs> There's no way it could have lived up to your expectations. You know, tonight's gala was something that you would have enjoyed and I'm sorry that you couldn't have put on that dress and come out there with me because you really missed out on a wonderful evening. I think you should go right now because it's getting late and I'm really tired. Are we okay, Lucy? Because I can't leave unless we're okay. You can leave. Oh, good. Okay, that's a relief. There really shouldn't be any confusion. Both of us know what really happened between us, right? And we don't need anybody from the outside who wasn't there telling us what it was. Am I right? Right. Okay. I'll see you. 
see you at work then. Okay, beautiful. Frank, something else, okay? I just she's been on my mind all night. Lucy, she never showed. Well, uh, Bridget said that she was sick. I don't know, the way she's been acting these last few days. Would you check on her? Yeah, yeah, you got it. I'll be okay when I know Lucy's okay. Oh, you look lost. Hey, where's the ball? Police broke it up a couple hours ago. Why? Somebody stole the money they'd managed to raise. Um, if you're supposed to hook up with somebody, they're long gone.